What's up, everybody? I'm going to power and welcome back to another cash or trash video. This is the series where I try to figure out if I can make some cash with a product or will it inevitably be thrown in the trash. Today we're doing it with a Yu-Gi-Oh! The Infinity Chasers. Got this box for $42 off of eBay. I know, crazy. Because this is normally a $100 set off of TCG Player. So I had to definitely pick this up because I've never opened up this set in general. I may have done it once for a, a YouTube short or a TikTok. Maybe, I don't honestly remember at this point. Hoping for, what is it, Infotruck stuff. There's also the Witches and stuff. This is a set from 2019, so an older set. Five foil cards for a pack, what you get is one secret rare and 40, uh, not, there's 40 super rare, 20 secrets, four for a pack, and one super rare for a pack. Not super, God, I can't speak it. One secret rare, four super rares. That's it. Is the, okay, so the secret rares in the back. We have Joe, Dead Rado, Hidden Arsenal, or no, Hidden Army, I don't know why it's an Arsenal. Magician's left hand. We have a magician and witchcraft by screen. Not sure if that's a good one or a bad one. I'll be able to tell what the decent uh, good ones are. There's some good uh, XDs. I think there's a link or a ritual in this. I know that. Honestly, these are the good ones. The ones on the actual box and the uh, pack. Okay, we have Wonder Wand. Not bad. Also, this is a first edition box, so that's good. Infinite Truck, Crap Grain. So, Infinite's good. Witchcrafter. And we do have an Evil Eye, Retribution. So, not a bad one, I think. I don't remember spells and trap cards being good in this set. I do remember some... Really, just like the good, like, ritual monsters, if there's any rituals in this set. We do have a Witchcrafter again. Heavy Freight Truck, Truck Crane. Witchcrafter Drapping. We have a Magical King, Jackal King. And we have a Witchcraft Holiday. Really cool looking Secret Rare. Always loved the Secret Rare pattern foil. Not a huge fan of the sets that it is just four Super Rares and a Secret Rare. The value of these sets is normally a little bit lower than your main sets where you can pull Secret Rares. I mean, them being guaranteed isn't a bad thing. Bound Wand. Dig Frazer, King of Heavy Industry, Performer Pal Sky Magician, and... Ooh, okay. This might actually be a really good one. This is Infotrack, Earth Slicer, so that could be our first good one. Because those are... Pretty good from this set. If that is one of the good ones, that might be like a 2 to $3 dollar secret rare. Really cool one to actually see. Evil Icon Configuration, Infotruck Goliath, and we do have an Infotruck Trencher. Wow, okay, so we're hitting the good uh, Infotruck. Okay, so that's a cool one to see. Honestly, all the ones that look like those are really cool in my opinion. If you do like the idea of me doing this with multiple different uh, card games, uh, comment down. What card game you'd like to see? Oh, we have a Rank Up Magic Astral Force. And just an Evil Eye Repose. Let's actually separate up the good cards with the potential uh, good ones. Come on, just one. One good, like. I know the top card in this set is a $10 uh, Witchcraft card. I don't remember the full entire name. Spellbook of Knowledge. Okay, so we have more spellbooks. Mech. We have a Mecha fan of Phantom Beast. Okay, Drago's that. And a Witchcraft Scroll. Okay, so far. Not seeing the big money cards that we would need to make money. I'm seeing some decent. That's why these are in the decent pile. Witchcraft Trapping, Magical Beast, Jackal King. We have an Infantrunk Live, not sure if that's a good super or not, and 
We just did another Evil Eye repost, which does make sense. I mean, 20 super, 20 secret rares and only 40 super rares. You're bound to hit some of these same secret rares a lot. I'm just hoping we can hit these same good ones. Hidden Armory. And we do have a Witchcraft by Street. Already seen that one. So, so far we're not looking good. Not sure how many packs we're in. I do see that the back card is a... I'm assuming that's AXZs. If it is... Come on. Ooh, okay. We have an Infratruck River Steamer. That might be a good one. I'm not 100% on that one. But you never know. Oh, we have a Machine Smasher. Magical Cylinders in this as a reprint? That's cool. I didn't know Magical Cylinders was in it. I think this is kind of a reprint set. Which would make plenty of sense. Come on. Let's stop that. Okay. Evil Eye Awakening. Not. Not good one. Clear. Spin Turn. Witchcraft Masterpiece. Bor Boral Familiar Evil Eye. Bound One and... We do have another Earth Slicer, so that actually is a good one to hit. We can keep hitting those, I would be really happy. Okay, we have another Magical Cylinder. Mech Phantom Beast. Uh, Secret of the Witch... Secret Village of Spellcasters. Magician's Left Hand and... Okay, so we did hit a cover card. This is Zarel. Ruler of the Evil Eye. Not... I think we are looking for a link card. That's not the link card we are currently looking for. So that one, sadly, is not one we would want. Witchcrafter Masterpiece. Familiar of the Evil Eye. Infinite Trunk Tunneler. Found one, and... Yes! We hit the top card! This is a 12... Dollar witchcrafter card. Okay, so that definitely helps us in our quest to make some money back on this. And we're not even halfway through the box yet. So that's actually good. That means we could see maybe one more of those. Maybe? Come on. Just one more. No, but I'll keep taking Herb Slicer. Because if we keep hitting that one, then we're definitely going to... Make some good chunk of our money back again. I know in the first cash or trash we did, we only made 50 cents, which was still a profit. It was a profit, but it was not a good profit. So we're hoping to make more than that for uh, this one. And it looks like we're on good track to actually beat that out. Infotrack, Mountain Smasher, focus. Hold on. Alrighty. Witchcrafter, Witchcrafter com combination. Okay, so we have a new familiar and another trencher. Getting close and closer to the end of this box. You'd also think with 24 packs, it wouldn't take me this long to actually open. Okay, and just another holiday. Not really anything extremely exciting to hit out of this box, honestly. If I do another Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, if I do another set of Yu-Gi-Oh on this, I might get a newer box or one of a little bit older than this. I don't remember if the scroll is a good one. Granted, I don't remember seeing any of the spell cards being a high value. 
Come on. Stop giving me pendulum monsters. I do not like those at all. I have never liked pendulum monsters, and I never will. Alrighty, so we have another trap card. Evil Eye. Mesrim, or however you say that one. I do not know. We fixed the pile of super rare. Four packs. Actually, yeah. Four packs left after this one. Just wanted to see how many we had left. Still surprised that we're opening this in uh, first edition because there is a unlimited uh, print run of this. This is back when they were still doing unlimited and first edition confronting the sea. And we have another one of these evil eye. Meshroom, which we just actually hit a couple seconds ago. Wondering one. Is that for a spellcaster? Yeah, that's just the one you equip and it gains 500. Okay. Thought that was the card, but come on. Okay, so actually with a new one that we haven't seen, Evil Eye of Seren. Seren. Two more packs. Two more packs until I figure out how much value we've made. And so far, I was hopeful we were going to hit the top card at least twice. I mean, we did end up hitting a infinite slicer or earth slicer we have a witchcrafter pitch roll or pipe roll i'm bad at pronouncing Yu-Gi-Oh names y'all know this at this point they're harder to pronounce than uh, pokemon and even some of those names i butcher all righty what will we get in the last pack confronting the sea wonder wand perform a pal sky magician infinite track crane crab and it's just another spell card, so not a great one to see. But I will be right back with the uh, value that we have made. I'll be right back. Alrighty, figured it out. Uh, just because they're all secrets does not really... I do not want to focus on the card. So, figured it out basically that we did not make money. We actually lost $26.21. Best card we definitely hit was this. This is a $12 card. These are $209 each, and this is a little bit, I think, over. Might be a $2 card by itself, but essentially, we actually lost $27. Basically, $27 if you round it up a little bit. We didn't hit anything that was essentially great. I was thinking of a different Infotrack card, but if you do want to see more cash or trash i definitely will be doing more of this this is a about twice a month series i will be doing but that's gonna be it. i'll see you on the next one bye